All right, this is John Kolo with GrowingYourDreams.com to have another exciting episode for you. I'm all the way here in Las Vegas, Nevada today. You guys see the super huge Venetian hotel behind me. And the reason why I'm here today, giving you guys a gardening episode here at the trade show where we're at is the actually consumer electronic show where they sell like, you know, gadgets and gizmos. They got the latest like electric cars and all kinds of VR, virtual reality kind of stuff. I mean, you guys that are techs would probably like freak out. Actually, and if you're claustrophobic, you're going to freak out also because there's like so many people here. It's insane. But what I'm here today to do, to share with you guys, thank God, is just share with you guys the garden tech, the latest technology in gardening automation for growing food and all the latest booths that have to do uh, that kind of stuff. So, uh, you know, I come to this show. Uh, this is the second year I'm coming to the show to share with you guys the garden tech. And I got to say that I'm actually disappointed in the garden tech there's a lot of tech to do all kinds of crazy stuff inside but you know i think the industry as a whole is missing some of the technology in and applications in gardening and helping people to grow more food at home i mean there's so much technology that can be used but it's just not being applied to maybe say smart watering to control you know the the flow of water to the raised bed garden by simple soil moisture meters or other ways that it can be detected. Anyways, there's some definitely some cool booths that I'm about to show you guys today. So anyways, let's go ahead and uh, get inside to the convention center and uh, show you guys some of the cool garden tech this year. I wet my pants. Nope, I mean, I wet my plants. <laughs> no, not with my pee. I have been known to pee on my plants. Actually, it's some really good fertilizer. But today we're gonna talk about watering your plants with actually a really cool Wi-Fi connected sprinkler timer that's gonna basically do everything for you so you don't have to program your sprinkler timer. Now this setup is designed for people kind of like my brother who doesn't garden. He doesn't really maybe know how to set his watering timer and there's always these changes you gotta put into your watering timer different times of the year based on watering restrictions of the city that you live in or the state that you live in. And this is made for him as long as he had Wi-Fi at his house, he could connect this up and it's gonna take care of everything for him so that he never has to lift the finger to water his lawn or his garden or his landscape again. So anyways, let's go ahead and share with you guys uh, this unique Wi-Fi connected sprinkler controller and how it can help you to save water, remain in compliance with your local laws on watering restrictions and allow your plants to grow even healthier. So this is Netro and what Netro is is basically it's just a sprinkler timer and it's Wi-Fi connected and it's a smart sprinkler timer. There's no dials or buttons or anything to mess with on the unit. You basically just uh, plug it into the wall and then you hook up up to 12 different um, wires to it to control the 12 different zones or the 12 different solenoids that go out into your garden. I think I'm using maybe about a total of four or five uh, channels or stations in my garden so this would fit me perfectly. And basically once you connect it, you could just uh, forget about it because what it does, it basically connects um, to the Netro Cloud and it takes in several different factors to determine the automatic watering cycles that it comes up with on its own. So it takes in uh, gardening knowledge, news and state regulations, so it updates and will only water according to your state regulations without you having to pay attention to what they are. Uh, you could actually, uh, it also waters based on statistics of historical watering times. And of course, it takes into consideration uh, real time local weather. Like if it's raining outside, it knows, and then it's gonna not water and save the water. And you know, just on its own, that's pretty cool. The other reason why I thought I'd cover this for you guys today is because it's one of the lowest priced Wi-Fi connected smart water timers I've seen. Uh, the suggested retail is $99, but if at right now you see this, depending on when you're seeing this, for maybe the next uh, 30 days, they basically drop the price, slash the price, like maybe 30% off. So that's gonna be really inexpensive for you guys to buy. And the other thing I really like about this is actually, it can get even smarter with their little uh, sensors here. The sensors have batteries built in, it charges by the sun, and even if you don't get any sun and it's covered up, you know, for up to 30 days, it will run on batteries. So what this sensor measures, it measures a few things. Number one, it measures the moisture level. That's why you tuck this into the soil. It measures the moisture level. So better than watering by the weather or watering by any kind of algorithm is watering dependent on is the soil dry or not. I mean, I think every watering system should water based on if the soil is dry or not, because that's really the true test. I mean, even if it's not raining out, your soil is still maybe damp from the last watering and you won't know unless you have 
uh, moisture sensor. The other thing this registers is it actually registers the temperature of your soil. So it can also, um, you know, water based on the temperature uh, that's out in your garden. And of course, also it measures the sunlight because it's generating power through the photovoltaic uh, panel here. And so it knows how much sun your garden is getting. And all these are taken into consideration when coming up with its own watering algorithm. I guess the main link of this system is basically your iPhone or a tablet. So let me go ahead and show you guys some of the features uh, that you have and what you can look up from anywhere in the world once you got this system uh, set up and going in your house. So the heart of the Netro system is basically an app that's on your phone. And uh, this is what it looks like here. You guys probably can't see that too well. But basically uh, on here, it tells you if it's online or offline. And the cool thing about this is that if you're offline, like your Wi-Fi goes down, it'll work for up to 30 days on the last program that it remembered or was downloaded into it. And after 30 days, I guess it won't work anymore and you need to reboot it so that it'll uh, work or get the Wi-Fi. So you definitely need a connection to the internet for this to work for any period of time. I know other meters, the one that I installed actually myself that's uh, connected, uh, if it goes offline, which actually does often actually due to some wireless issues I'm having. I mean, it just uses the last settings, but it just runs indefinitely after that. So that might be a good thing to do instead of just having it run for 30 days and then, I don't know, stop working and then you have to reboot or something. That's kind of weird to me. But anyways, on here, you guys can see a few things. I mean, it shows the local weather, um, the forecast, if it's gonna be raining. It also shows the upcoming forecast for the upcoming days. And then it actually has the different zones. So I don't know if you guys can see that on there, but it basically has a zone one, zone two, zone three. You know, when it was last watered, like, so it says zone one was last watered 23 hours ago, and it's gonna water next in five days. And it also, uh, you know, shows you the moisture level in the soil. So we can go ahead and press on zone one. And then it goes into more details about that zone and some of the settings that you could set, like you actually tell the plant type, whether it's shrubs, uh, warm season grass, cool season grass, Oh, they don't have a setting for vegetables. They do need to put that in, in my opinion. Uh, soil type, your sprinkler type, uh, if it's shade or not, if it's a sloped or not, because this will all impact how uh, the unit waters for you. And let's see if we press this other button here. We could actually get into the statistics. Now, this is what I find the most interesting. I wish my current system actually had some kind of statistics like this. Now, these statistics only work if you have that uh, that sensor here, right? And so then you can see actually the sunlight levels in your garden over time. So that's actually quite impressive. You can see the temperature over time. We scroll up there a little bit. You can actually see the uh, soil moisture level over time. And then down below, you can see how much irrigation water that you've used. And then down at the bottom, you can see the rainwater uh, you know, that was that was, it was rained on and this is based on weather forecasting and the rain in your specific area. We could cancel out of that and I mean they have a whole bunch of other features on here including a schedule feature. So if you want to manually control this from your phone, you could definitely do that too. Um, the one thing I would say about that is I think it's definitely good to have, you know, uh, water watering times other than in just whole minutes, right? So like the irrigation system I use, the high pressure Aquajet irrigation system. I don't need to water even for a minute. I just need to water for like 30 seconds or 45 seconds. So hopefully they'll add this feature in the, into the application so that people could water for less than a minute if that's what they need. I mean, if I just blast like a 15 second cycle even, that short, it's just gonna blast air through my irrigation system to basically uh, oxygenate my root zone, which is definitely a good thing. And uh, let's see here, they got also another area of discover on the app and it basically lets you allows you to see the like the water usage how much you're saving in gallons how much money you're saving over the lifetime so i mean this uh, controller and as well as the uh you know uh, solar uh, sensor could save you guys money within just a few months especially some of the watering rates that you guys pay i know california one of the most expensive rates for water and i definitely would encourage you guys to uh, you know get some kind of controller, smart controller like this, that can definitely save you guys some money, more importantly, save water, but more importantly, allow you to grow healthier plants that are happy because they're getting the right amount of moisture. Overwatering and even underwatering is quite a big problem and uh, you know, with gardening, and uh, this app has built-in overwatering controls so that will never happen 
if you're using this setup uh, with the optional sensor. So if you guys want to learn more how you can actually water your plants from your phone wherever you are in the world as long as you're connected and your water Wi-Fi water timer is connected, you want to check them out at netrohome.com. So now I want to show you guys the booth of Canopy 25. And you can learn more about them at canopy25.com. And what they make is actually a uh, kit so that any potted plant will now be a self-watering potted plant so they'll never run out of water. And you know, you may have bought them cheap, inexpensive self-watering pots before that basically just kind of like keep constant moisture on your plant. You fill up a reservoir and it keeps dumping the water or uh, you know, pushing the water into the plant like all the time. This system's a little bit differently. You know, there's systems like uh, that have a uh, moisture probes that go into the soil. And you know, some of those kind of work, but the problem with the moisture probes is that over time they corrode, they may not work, and then they may not, you know, your plants may not get the proper watering. This works on a completely new and different way that, I mean, I'm a, I, like, like somebody should have thought of before. And basically how this works, it's basically a scale. So you put your potted plants on the scale, the scale knows the weight of your plant, and then when it goes dry, right, the water is gonna get used up by the plant or it's gonna evaporate, and then it's gonna weigh less. So then the device senses this and then waters your plant. It's a very simple and easy concept, and they've actually uh, have this as a connected app. So it has, a, you could check it on your phone, you could water your plant from anywhere. In addition, you could see um, you know, the range when your plant goes dry and when it is wet and you set the range between, you know, the, you know, the, the dried mode and the wet mode. So it always, this, uh, the scale will keep the water level in between those lines and you can set those as big as you want or as tiny as you want, you know, if you want a bigger dry cycle. Uh, or a longer wet cycle. So this can be very important because some plants like basil, right, they want a nice time where the soil is a bit dry. They don't want to be like, have constant water on their roots. Maybe like a lettuce might like more water. That's really cool. So, you know, as much as this can be used connected to the Bluetooth and whatnot and works fully automatic, if uh, for say, for example, the app is on your phone, you didn't install it on your wife's phone and uh, she's at home, you guys could see the scale here. And uh, their standard scale is uh, 25 centimeters because it's in uh, European standards. They're gonna come out with a 15 centimeter model soon. But anyways, you guys see that little red light? This red light is for people that don't have the app, that don't get notified and your phone doesn't buzz to let you know, hey, your plant needs water if you have it on the manual setting where you're watering manually. Otherwise, in the back here, there's a few connections. They basically have a, a, a water in, a water out, they also have a little, uh, you know, a micro USB port for charging the battery that'll last six months. And also they have a on off switch and of course a little antenna. So aside from being Bluetooth, this will hook up to the internet and uh, upload uh, the information to the cloud so you could access it on your phone from anywhere. But anyways, if you're not all connected, it has this red light. And if you need water, uh, the red light will come on. And then when you water, like I'll simulate water by my hand to make it put some weight on it. Then it, it'll turn uh, blue to let you know that, hey, it's getting watered. And then at a certain point, it's gonna turn green. See it turn green? Once it turns green, you know, okay, this plant is good. It's got enough water, then you can stop watering. So this is for your wife, the housekeeper, if you're lucky enough to have one, the maid or whoever, to know, hey, if it's red, water, and if it's green, don't water. So yeah, super simple, super easy. Now I wanna go ahead and take you guys in depth more on how this works and maybe some of the functions that you can do with it all from the portability of your phone. So now I wanna show you guys more how the Canopy 25 works. And as you guys can see, here's a unit, the Canopy 25 on the bottom, and on the top they got a potted plant. Now the cool thing about this system is that you can use any potted plant, it'll work regardless, as long as the plant weight of the pot with the plant and all the soil is under 88 pounds or 40 kilos, so that you can put some nice large size plants and this was designed for those of you guys that aren't like maybe just growing some vegetables, but maybe you guys have some indoor house plants. Maybe you're trying to grow a coconut palm or some really cool fruit trees inside your house. And of course they got good lighting, right? And you don't want them to run out of water and you can't depend on your roommates to water it when you're traveling. So you could put heavy, nice, large plants on the Canopy 25 so that the water will be taken care of for you so you don't have to worry about it. 
And the cool thing is, unlike many systems that have reservoirs and all this kind of stuff, you don't have to worry about any of that because on this system, you could use any container you want to hold the water. You know, you could get a 55 gallon drum for all I care and uh, put that in your house, fill it up with 55 gallons of water, stick this unit in here. I'd actually plug it into the wall instead of, uh, you know, just having it run on the batteries. And it's just gonna keep running, I don't know, probably maybe even for a year <laughs> and just water your plant because basically um, here it just sucks up the water and it has an air stone on there, but that's not using for air. It's just kind of like acts as a filtration device to uh, pull the water up and then it gets sucked in the inlet and then it basically goes out the outlet uh, to a little drip system on the top of the plant. So yeah, I mean, it really is like pretty simple. I mean, they got some complex software to interface with the Bluetooth and the apps and all this kind of stuff. But I mean, it's an ingenious invention. Next, I wanna go ahead and show you guys some pictures of what the app looks like and show you guys actually how easy it is to set up. So now I wanna show you guys what the app looks like on this. And I think this could actually be really uh, telling and help you kind of dial in the watering of any potted plant, even if you just use it for your plant for just a little bit to kind of get the no, uh, you know, how, you're, how much water your actually plant needs. I mean, I've been to some medicinal cannabis grows where actually they do, a, they check, and I showed this in the video, where they check the weight of each plant to see if it has sufficient amounts of water or not. This takes all that to the next level, the scientific level, because there's a precise scale that's doing it all for you. Anyways, in the app, there's only a few settings. This app is super simple, easy to use. And so you just gotta set two things. You gotta set the upper limit and the lower limit. So this is, you know, uh, the, the scale is gonna keep the water within these limits. So what happens is you're gonna water, it's gonna be at the upper limit. And over time, the water is gonna evaporate or the water is gonna get used by the plant, right? Then the moisture level is gonna go down. And then once it hits the lower limit, then it says, oh, it's out of water. The weight is too light. We better start watering. So now the, the unit will start watering and water and water and water until the upper limit is reached and then cut off. And then basically, then it, uh, the, the plant uses the water, it evaporates, and then it gets the lower limit, then it waters again. So you, you could actually see how fast your plant is using the water or if you live in Las Vegas or something where water evaporates out of your potted plants, you can see how fast it's actually evaporating. And so you'll know how fast you need to replenish the water. So this could give you some, definitely some good insight on how to properly water your plant and take care of it so you're gonna have the optimal level of success. Now, I really like this. This is probably my favorite thing uh, for garden tech at the show because it's, it's so simple, but it's basically applying a simple concept of weight to getting your plants watered. And I wish there would be more technology like this that's super simple. I just wish they could actually make this so large that I could fit it underneath one of my raised bed gardens <laughs> to water my whole garden by weight. Now that would be impressive. Anyways, uh, this unit is currently available in Europe. I think it's about 139 euros. Hopefully it's gonna be into the United States soon. I brought the same amount in US dollars and they're gonna soon be coming out with a 15 inch or a 15 centimeter, sorry, version. Um, that's gonna be much less money, but there's no price announced at this time. If you wanna learn more about this setup, be sure to check out canopy25.com. So now I wanna show you guys my favorite booth here at the CES 2017 for growing food. It's actually the booth of Opcom. They're a Taiwanese company and have distribution set up in the United States. They've been shipping their products in the US for several months now, and they have some new products coming in. And uh, you guys probably can't see it right now because it's getting cut off because so many people are gathering around. And you know, the cool thing about CES, there's like so much tech here. There's not a lot of green, not a lot of plants growing. So like this booth gets lots of attention because everybody wants to see the plants growing, right? We all got to eat, right? Let's take some responsibility and grow some of the food that we eat at our home. And Opcom makes it easy for you guys. So this company uh, basically specialized in making endoscopes. Also, they specialize in like LED lighting. So basically took this to the next level and use what they know about, uh, you know, the lighting and whatnot. And now they're making basically hydroponic systems that have their LEDs, a uh, special spectrum uh, built in so that you guys could grow your own food at home under hydroponics. And these are some of the cleanest systems that I've seen. They have several. So let me go ahead and uh, take you guys over the booth and show you guys some of the systems as well as some of the components they sell that are gonna allow you to grow more food at home. So the first product I wanna show you guys today is the Opcom Grow Box. And that, it, it's right here and as you guys can see, it's basically just a frame. It has lights, it has four lights that are adjustable. You can move them up, you can move them down so that all your plants get the light they need to thrive. Uh, this is basically a deep water culture hydroponic setup. So there's basically uh, water in the container all the time. 
and uh, you can grow 50 plants in here and in addition besides the 50 plants you got an area for uh, growing sprouts or microgreens so this is actually something I really like a lot and uh, there's a little grow box right here with all the different uh, controls so you can control the pump the LEDs or just put it on auto if you don't want to deal with anything it's gonna come on turn itself off the lights and everything is gonna work so that you guys just have to basically monitor the uh, hydroponic solution make sure the pH is right also make sure you have enough nutrients in there and they give you a little kit that's gonna set you up including the seeds for six months of growing when you buy uh, the grow box here this is one configuration of it uh, these also actually uh, basically get unclip and you can move this up and down and that's the one next door they have basically net over it so that uh, bugs and things can't get in there and uh, the it's it's actually probably extended maybe two feet or a little bit more up into the air they got some lettuce growing in there and it uses basically uh, 18 watts so now I want to show you guys actually a special deal here I mean this unit retails for about uh, 4 dollars which you know a little bit expensive but you know you grow 50 plants and your sprouts and microgreens but they got a coupon code for you guys today that I'll share with you guys so now I want to show you guys a special discount for people here at the CES and since uh, I'm here I'm sharing it with you guys also if you guys are interested in the grow box which retails for uh, 4 dollars or the next product I'll show you guys the grow wall which actually I like more for $5.99 you get a hundred dollars discount until uh, 1.15 so that's January 15th so you got a couple more days to do that and you could use a coupon code OPCOMCES2017 to buy either of these products at OPCOM.com and they ship out of uh, Southern California so when you purchase the grow box that I just showed you or the grow wall that I'll show you guys in a second you get this little starter kit so this is the starter kit you're gonna need to uh, get growing and uh, basically they give you a pH meter an EC meter as well as all the different uh, seeds that are in little capsules for you also little filters and uh, basically uh, the nutrients and the pH up the pH down and all this kind of stuff everything you're gonna need for six months to grow some good vegetables and they got lettuce and basil and whatnot but you don't need to use their specific seeds you could use your own seeds and you could also use your own hydroponic nutrient solution if you want to use an organic solution or not right so that's really cool they set you up for a full six months on a one-time investment so many of you guys now I know you guys might be in the middle of your winter you're confined to your house all winter long you know what better use than to get one of these products so you guys can grow indoors and the one I'm gonna show you guys next is the one that I'm most interested in the one I like the most because it allows you to grow 75 plants in just a small amount of vertical space in your house plus it just looks really cool I call it a showstopper so what we're looking at next is the Opcom grow wall this is the one this is the one unit that I like in this whole entire place you can grow 75 plants uh, for like a $600 less than $100 discount if you buy it real soon and it has the built-in LEDs that I actually turned off so that you guys could see it because like the lighting here as much as it's good for the plants it's not good for a video so it normally has a lighting that turns on and off automatically and this is a ebb and flow system so the water flows up and it goes down to the different levels and then it goes drains into the bottom and besides having one two three four five levels of plants it also has a little area in the bottom so you can grow your sprouts or your microgreens the sprouts and the microgreens are some of the most nutritious foods on the entire planet and I've never seen before a grow setup that actually has an apparatus so you guys can grow your sprouts and microgreens so this is really cool one of the things you guys can see is that there's an optional camera that actually hooks into the unit it's a little bit above the shot but basically it, it could it produces a still frame photos so you could have time lapse of your grow so this is a completely incredible the technology they fit in to just a one freestanding unit that could be up in the uh, you know against your wall or even in your kitchen let's go ahead and uh, go over and show you guys some of the specifics about the grow wall so what we're looking at now is more of a close-up shot on the Opcom grow wall here this is basically I think you're seeing like one two and maybe like the third level and uh, over on this side there's a controller here that controls the pump the LEDs um, you could control them manually or just hit the auto button and here's of course the power on off button we could fire that up you can see the lights we're gonna go ahead and turn it off since it looks better on the camera uh, but yeah as you guys can see there's basically just a little holes and you put the little plant starts in the holes and the ebb and flow uh, hydroponic system basically waters it all uh, the one thing I like about this it uses 30 watt LED lights that we can spin around and uh, they do have a system coming out with 65 uh, watt LED lights that are the right spectrum for your plants 
Uh, I do recommend the 30 watt if you're using something and growing something like lettuce or leafy crops. And if you want to grow something that fruits <laughs> or makes flowers, right, then you're going to want to use a more powerful 65 watt LED lights in here. And the thing, this is like fully adjustable. So you could like move this, the lights up and down. You could also move them closer or further apart, depending if you're just starting your ceilings out, right? You're gonna wanna move the lights closer to the ceilings and then move them out. But yeah, I mean, I really like this setup, um, how it's all set up. Oh, and then of course, you know, they got the, um, the EC and the pH meters hanging right here. So you have easy access to check your hydroponic nutrient solution to make sure it's balanced. I mean. I think the biggest thing about this system is you just got to make sure uh, you have proper nutrient levels in there and proper pH and everything else is going to be taken care of for you including the lights turning on and off and you're going to have some amazing food growing in your own living room. Next I really want to go into the bottom of this and show you guys where you're able to grow your own sprouts or microgreens because that's really cool and that could produce uh, even faster crops and faster turn of more nutritious crops than just the standard lettuce that's growing above. So what you guys are looking at now is the nutrient tank for the Opcom grow wall right here. This is where all the water drains into and when it's not pumping, the water's sitting in here. When it pumps, it pumps the water up all the way and then it just kind of comes all the way down and all your plants get watered. But at the bottom, they've done something really intelligent uh, with the uh, water storage here right up in the top here. They're growing some uh, sprouts and in this case I think they got some wheatgrass growing. Wheatgrass is a really nutritious food. Wheatgrass is known to absorb up to 90 different trace minerals in it and when we, you eat it you're going to get all those trace minerals plus there's definitely beneficial phytonutrients and phytochemicals in the wheatgrass. I mean when was the last time you ate grass? Right? <laughs> Hopefully cows are eating the grass right and then we eat the cows to get the nutrition from the grass they ate. Well that's if they're like free range cows. Unfortunately, most cows these days are eating corn and soy that's genetically modified. And I don't recommend you guys eat the corn or soy that's genetically modified or the cows that are eating the corn and soy genetically modified. So let's just eliminate the cow and you guys can eat the grass or grow your own grass or other microgreens. So the microgreens are four to 40 times more nutritious than the full size vegetables that you're growing above. Plus these guys can be done in as short as 10 days. You could have some microgreens or some wheatgrass to chew on and uh, juice with your teeth, use a juicer, or just uh, you know uh, uh, put them in smoothies <laughs> and enjoy them so you guys get the nutrition out of them. Now the one thing I do recommend if you guys get a hydroponic setup like this or any hydroponic setup, I want to encourage you guys to add additional trace minerals such as a Ocean Solution product or GrowPal product to basically ensure your plants are getting the full spectrum of up to 90 different trace minerals because most hydroponic solutions may provide only a handful and maybe if they're into it, up to 16 different uh, minerals. So this is my favorite uh, grow unit at the in whole entire event. Once again, hold 75 plants plus your microgreens, $5.99 retail price and for a limited time get that $100 off. Now I want to show you guys actually two more products that Opcom has developed that will be either released soon or actually are already available. So now I want to show you guys how you guys can grow 33 vegetables on your wall with the Opcom grow frame. You know, whether you're going to grow some succulents like this or lettuce like they got over here or even other herbs and basils and all this stuff, you guys could do this uh, $199 as a retail price. This is amazing. 33 plants, that's a lot of little plants. Now, you know, the thing I have is they're a little bit close together, so you're going to have to grow some plants that maybe don't get too big. I, I do like the other setups where you have a lot more space to expand, but hey, if a 199 piece that has a built-in LED lighting and has has the built-in pumps to automatically water your plants so they're going to have the proper amount of water allows you to do that hey i say grow for it right but uh yeah this setup uh, basically uh, does everything you need you need to start off with your plants it pumps up the water once again this is a hydroponic system and it's going to probably give you these starter kits so you guys can get up and growing in no time so yeah this uh, product has not yet been released and i look forward to it uh, coming out uh, as i said before you know i do prefer the larger systems but hey you know, if you got a small apartment, this would be great to grow some food. Uh, the next setup I want to share with you guys that Opcom produces or in the mark in the um, in, in, going to be producing soon is actually their uh, for a commercial setup for like uh, if you have a restaurant or something. This is probably the best uh, commercial setup that's fully automated. Uh, to grow food here at the CES 2017. So now I want to share with you guys the last product that I'll be sharing with you guys today at Opcom. It's the Opcom Farm Cube and as you guys can see there it is. I mean it's the size of a, maybe a larger refrigerator, has one, two, three, four different levels 
uh, for growing up to 200 different plants. Plus down below it has a water reservoir and a reservoir for the pH adjusters as well as a nutrient solution right down below. So yeah, it looks really cool. They got the built-in LED lights as well as cameras so you guys could monitor how your plants are doing. Let's go ahead and give you guys a close-up on the farm cube. So the Opcom farm cube is designed for maybe like restaurants and for a professional or farm use, although you could buy one for your home if you got some extra cash laying around. This is not yet available. It's gonna be available maybe uh, third quarter 2017. Projected price somewhere between $3,000 to $4,000. This is actually quite spendy. And for that, you're gonna be able to grow like up to 200 different uh, plant starts. So you could, you know, provide the lettuce for your restaurant, for example. In addition, once again, besides just the lettuce or the vegetables or herbs you'll be growing, you could also grow those microgreens on each level as well. So I really like that a lot. Once again, we've got four layers here with all the LED built-in lighting, as well as fans. It controls the temperature. Basically, it does everything you need to do so you can just basically fill it up with water, fill it up with nutrients, and walk away and come back and harvest your own greens. Let's go ahead and uh, go down to the bottom and show you guys some of the computer controls and all the nutrients and water storage it has built in. So this is the bottom of the Opcom farm here. And as you guys can see, this is the lower level that's growing all the plants, plus the microgreens. And then down below, we got lots of water storage, as well as the nutrient solutions, as well as the controller. Um, you know, it actually has a, a water purifier in there, uses UV to clean the water. Also, you know, it's fully automatic. It has an air spa, air refresh, pump, LED, auto button. And also this is a, this baby's Wi-Fi, so you could hook it up and, uh, you know, check it out with the apps on iOS or Android. Uh, this is definitely something to look for if you're into, you know, growing a lot of food and want to start a farm. I mean, once again, three to four thousand dollars, you guys could piecemeal your own setup like this, but this is a self-contained kit that, you know, if a restaurant got or something, they just want to put something in and they don't want to piece it together themselves. Hey, it's one complete system. It looks really good. And to me, it looks really dialed in. I guess the next step that Opcom wants to do is they want to take this even further and uh, even start creating, you know, container farms and all this kind of stuff. That's definitely really cool. They got a mock-up of what it's going to look like. But yeah, until then, we got these home units and they're going to expand into a more commercial in the future. And hopefully they keep coming out with some really good products that allow you to, guys to grow more food at home. You can learn more about them at opcom.com. So now I'm gonna show you guys the booth that probably gets the most looks and it's probably been the hardest to film at because there's like people coming by and trying to take videos and show what this is actually. And we're at the booth, uh, booth of uh, Natufia and you're kind of wondering, John, what's Natufia, man? What does that mean? Well, Natufia is the first recorded tribe that actually started growing their own food. And so what we have here is basically a refrigerator size or small refrigerator size growing chamber that will completely grow your uh, plants from seed to uh, produce food for you. Now this is designed for like, you know, upscale high-end places like restaurants or bars because you know, it, it does get a little bit pricey, but basically this does everything for you guys automatically. So actually, let me go ahead and uh, open this up and show you guys what it looks like on the inside. All right, so the special LED lights, a little bit hard to see me, but you can see the unit here. And uh, one of the things I like about this unit, unlike others that I've seen before, is that this unit is quality made. I mean, it's like stainless steel, all this stuff. I mean, even the little containers that basically cascade the water down, it's all ceramic. And I mean, when it's watery, it kind of looks like, you know, one of those like uh, those gutters that like drip down on the different things. It like looks really cool. This may not be the optimal configuration for growing like lots of food because it only fits, I think, actually 32 plants in this configuration. But they have other configurations available if you want to like pack more plants in there, depending on your specific needs. What I do like about this is that it's just fully automatic. You literally hook up the water to it. You hook a drain to it. And there's computer control up in the top of the unit that actually takes care of everything for you. It's grown under a hydroponic system and there's different probes in here that measure the temperature of the water, the temperature of the air inside the unit. It controls fans to turn them off and on to keep them at the right temperature. And in addition, check it out, man. They got speakers in here that plays different music to the plants. So maybe your plants will even grow better. So, I mean, this company's got it all figured out. They've done a lot of stuff to make sure they're gonna get the best grow. Uh, the next thing I wanna do actually is share with you guys uh, some other features and parts of this amazing uh, planter box. So this unit is about uh, maybe seven, eight feet tall, so it's actually pretty tall. And actually, as you guys can see, it's got a nice glass cover, not this cheap plastic stuff. I mean, this is a quality unit that's coming out of Estonia. So I don't know, I think they have some distribution in the US now. But anyways, uh, on the bottom here, underneath where they would have like refrigeration, if it was a fridge, 
that's where the water compartment is stored. So they have a, a water storage that where they mix up uh, the uh, nutrient solution and keep the water pH proper. And then they have uh, two drawers here. So this one's the easy drawer. And actually this is pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. But uh, basically there's a little screen built in. And once again, all the electronics are up top. So like, you know, if water leaks, it's not gonna get damaged. And it basically it tells you some of the different things. You could turn on and on off the watering, on and off the lights, on and off the fan. Turn up the music so you're, you could blast Metallica to your plants. Maybe they're even gonna grow better. Right? And you know, don't laugh. There's been studies where they blast Metallica to plants and they do grow better. So you might want to try it, but just, you know, try to keep it cool if it's like in your neighbors and like don't blast them out and don't be like my friend in the audio file and get some like thousand dollar speakers to play music to your plants. But, uh, oh, and then if you don't want to use this screen down here, you can also, it's also connected to your phone. You know, you could uh, control it through your phone. So that's really cool. You can keep tabs on this unit. Uh, right down in here, basically, you put the plant nutrients as well as a pH up and a pH down, and they're using all organic nutrients in here. And this uh, measures the pH of your water and adjusts accordingly. Also, it senses the, um, uh, the conductivity in the water to determine if the water um, and the nutrients in the water are too much or too little. If it's not a good water, it's getting too messed up, it basically will just flush it and then refill and then add more nutrients to keep it right balanced. This is one of the big challenges that I have with hydroponics. I don't want to be sitting there measuring my pH and adjusting my pH all the time, right? I need a system like this to do it for me. I mean, check this out. These things slide out and check this out. I mean, down at the bottom, these look like some nice, like uh, stones, like, like nice rocks. I mean, it looks really decorative. This is like definitely an upscale piece, you know? <laughs> It'd probably look out of place in my place. But anyways, uh, oh, so then this other compartment is a little drawer. Let's pull this out and show you guys what's in there. Oh, check it out, man. They got all these little plant stars. So they got like a little uh, grow bed with uh, uh, the little ceramic grow stones. And then plus they have little uh, pots here that are starting all the plants from seed. So the only plastic that's used in this unit is actually right here, this little, uh, basically it's kind of like a net pot, but it's a plastic. And this plastic is not just any old plastic. I mean, number one, it's food grade plastic. Number two, it's not just, uh, you know, uh, biodegradable like some plastics, which I think is kind of like, uh, like a misnomer, like biodegradable plastic. It still breaks down just into smaller pieces. This is actually a fully compostable plastic from what they're telling me. And uh, just one little seed packet or one little seed uh, thing like this is under a dollar. And so once you're up and running with this unit, you can be producing some food for relatively inexpensive. And uh, you put all the seed pods in here and uh, it'll basically just uh, germinate them, start them up. And once they get big, then you're gonna transplant them up into the main unit. So I really like that they basically, this is an all-in-one unit. The only thing you're gonna need to grow your plants, um, nice, really good kitchen garden, fully automated. Now the only negative that I can tell you guys about this unit is the price, right? Sit down, right? If you guys are standing up right now, sit down, right? It's 13,000 is suggested price. I mean, it may come down or whatever. I mean, it's definitely a quality piece. There's a lot of tech in here, you know, but that's definitely a little bit spendy. If you want to learn more about it, you want to visit the website, uh, natufa.com. So that's pretty much it for the garden tech at this year's CES 2017. I wish there was more companies that actually had some cool gardening tech. You know, all this technology is happening for like monitoring your sleep, monitoring your fitness, monitoring all kinds of crazy stuff. I didn't even know you guys could monitor, <laughs> but there's not enough gardening tech. You know, we, we all need to eat. We all need to, you know, uh, eat food every day. And I think, you know, some of this technology that's great, you know, should be used to help people grow more food efficiently. Things like save water, save resources, all this kind of stuff. You know, I've seen a lot of cool things here, but I've seen a lot of things that are like, in my opinion, a waste of space, a waste of time, money, and resources to create more consumer products that may not be that needed in our uh, consumerism society that we live in, unfortunately. So anyways, I'm glad you guys stayed to the end of this episode. And I want you guys to know, I want to know your guys' comments. Like, what did you think of this episode? If you liked it, hey, please give me a thumbs up. Then I'll encourage me to come back to CES in future years to share with you guys a new garden tech because I just like to stay abreast of all the information uh, about gardening and how to grow food. And so that's why I bring these shows to you guys because nobody else that I know is covering all these shows and all these products that I know of. 
And you know, I know a lot of you guys might complain, John, that stuff's too expensive. And yeah, some of this stuff is too expensive, but you know, you guys gotta realize, some of you guys are like expert gardeners, expert growers. You can grow with nothing, right? You can just be put on a desert island, you guys could grow some food. But there's a lot of people that don't know how to grow any food. They're intimidated, they've never done it before. And that's where I really think some of the garden tech could help you guys grow more food and grow plants successfully. And that's what I'm all for. However you guys can grow some food, however you guys wanna do it, I just kinda make the information available for you guys to do that. So anyways, yeah, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. I'll be able to sure to come back to upcoming CESs in the future. Also, be sure to click that subscribe button right down below if you haven't watched any of my videos before to be notified of my new and upcoming episodes I've coming out about every three to four days. You never know where I'm gonna show up, what you'll be learning on my YouTube channel. And don't forget, I think I now have over 1,300 videos online on YouTube available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, as long as YouTube's up and the internet doesn't crash. Uh, so you guys can learn how to grow your own food because this is one of the most important things and one of the most important skills you guys could have in your life, in my opinion. So uh, yeah, with that, my name is John Kohler with GrowingYourGreens.com. We'll see you next time. And until then, remember, keep on growing. Mm -hmm.